Hey guys, welcome back to Warren Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you that have a BMW 1 series. I'm talking about uh, generation E81, E82, E87, E88 guys. Uh, first generation 1 series BMW. And if you're trying to find where your uh, radiator fan switch guys the sensor that detects when to turn on and off the fan is located stay with us and we'll cover that today and we'll explain what needs to be done to uh, remove and replace it now uh, that same sensor guys has been used in bmw 1 series 3 series z4 and even uh, some 5 series model guys so all of them use about the same design and the sensor is about the same depending on the year of course but uh, the location will be about the same for all these vehicles now why we are making this video because many of you asked us guys in the comment section below where that sensor is located uh, because some of you thought that we have two coolant temperature sensors okay you can call it as a secondary sensor but actually guys that sensor has a different purpose and we will explain that today uh, now uh, before we start every single car we get at the shop we make at least guys 200 free repair videos why because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video so we can keep providing that free information another thing guys if you need to buy a new sensor parts to use check out the links in the description of the video below we share them guys for your convenience so we have the whole front end taken apart okay we'll be doing quite a few uh, videos on that BMW so if you have any any questions any recommendations leave a comment below guys and uh, we will try to make a video when we have a chance to so uh, this is your radiator fan cooling fan that's what it looks like you will have your radiators on the front side we have all that removed but uh, once you guys okay uh, once you open the hood usually you will be able to locate that hose on the left side of the engine it will be connected to the radiator guys okay these holes okay i'm talking about the holes right here so it will be just connected to the radiator guys and uh, this hose there is a sensor on top of it you don't have to take the whole car apart okay you can replace it without removing anything the only thing that you will need to actually uh, remove okay drain your coolant guys you need to drain your coolant antifreeze because when you remove that sensor you will leave coolant out uh, now another thing you have to use guys special bmw coolant we'll have the link in the description of the video below uh, and you have to follow the specific bmw uh, how to bleed the cooling system on bmw guys uh, otherwise you're going to overheat your engine because you will have air pockets stuck inside your engine if you want to see how to do that we have it on bmw 3 series which will be very similar on bmw e90 how to bleed cooling system i will try to put the link to the video in the description of the video below once you bleed the uh, once you drain the cooling system right here you're going to press that cable pull it out right here you have two things that you need to squish and just pull up guys it will be stuck at first but eventually okay it will come out this is the sensor if you need to buy a new one we'll have the link in the description of the video below so uh, don't hesitate guys okay to check it out if you need to purchase one they're not very expensive hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you having problems with the radiator fan not uh, running not turning on uh, if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time